So we have uh, several improvements uh, that hopefully uh, it can have an impact in the in the way that Android is implementation the the country supports. And first of them is the something that has been uh, requested by the community uh, for for a long time now. That is the support for uh, multiple users uh, using the same Android application, right? So we have several use cases. Uh, probably the most common one is the uh, the one that uh, we have uh, a server that uh, uh, is for tracker configuration. And in the same implementation, there is a server that is hosting like a, a aggregated data, right? And probably the Android user needs to send data, needs to synchronize data with both. And is there a way that we can like improve the user experience when uh, he or she needs to uh, start switching to the servers instead of logging out or logging in all the time. Um, so it's something that uh, we have, sorry, something that uh, we have been working uh, on the on this version. And then other, other use cases, uh, for instance, the uh, if the Android application if, uh, um, is being like uh, uh, shared between the different uh, people, right? So let's see how this looks like. So if I'm clicking on the on my on this menu over here, so I'm clicking the in the logout. Okay, so now uh, we can see that this is having like one user that uh, is trying to secret that has an account linked to a uh, different servers and recurrent than 236. And also this is the same user, but also we have another user, right? Uh, pointed to uh, the other current server. So we have three three accounts. And something that I forgot to mention at the beginning is like, uh, we have like a maximum number of accounts allowed per application of three, okay? So if you see that this button over here, the other account is like disabled because uh, we have reached the, the, really the maximum. So now if I click on Android, so uh, it's going to, of course, it's going to show me the the, the password. Uh, I need to I, I need to fill the password in order to log in uh, with the with the server. Uh, and I have this button over here, also the manage accounts. That basically this button allows me to uh, to uh, navigate the different user ac Android accounts that I have. Uh, so let's click on this button, and then I'm going to select this one. Okay, I'm going to select this one, and I'm going to it's asking for the password. So I'm going to introduce my password. 2022. Okay, and something that is important is like so far till now, uh, anytime that the user uh, needs to log in, uh, the user needs to be on, in online mode, right? But now, uh, as any time that the user is logging in the system, so the, the credentials are being stored in the local database. So now that needs to happen, that doesn't need to happen anymore. So basically, let me show you how it looks like if I am disconnecting my, uh, my device from the internet. Okay, and now uh, I can click, I can log in anyway, so I can click on the on the login button. Continue. Okay, and without internet connection, now I can like, uh, uh, I can have access to the application. Of course, in the case that the user has access to the internet, then uh, uh, it will synchronize the metadata and the data right away as usual. Okay, and also there is a, a new button over here in the menu, uh, if I click on the, on this menu, there is a, a new feature, the del delete account. Okay, uh, as I said before, there is a maximum of three Android accounts. Uh, so if you want, you can like remove the current account. And then if you click here, after you confirm this, it will remove your account. I will like redirect you to the login screen. And then you have to again, uh, introduce the username and password as, as usual. Okay, so I'm going to cancel it and I'm going to connect because I'm going to need it for the demo uh, again my device to, to the Wi-Fi.